First things first, make sure you're wearing something that you're okay with getting dirty. Or put a towel on your outfit. And wear gloves too, or else your hands will come out looking bluish, purplish, blackish. The dye you choose will most likely come with several ingredients, so go ahead and pour these in a mixing container. The dye that I'm using is Feria, or however you pronounce it. It has two different types of black, and I'm using a warm black. Now you should probably be mixing it and keep on mixing it a lot until it's one uniform mixture. It won't look black, but that's okay. It'll get darker with time. Rub some Vaseline all over your face because the dye, if you're like me, will get everywhere and that's you don't really want purple skin. So rub it all over your neck, ears, whatever. Now with a brush you can start painting the dye onto your roots. something pointy. I got this from Hot Topic actually. And sloppily pull over your roots so that you can get another layer of your roots and continue to paint. You can start using your hands to massage the dye down through your hair and all around. Repeat this process until you think all of your roots have been painted. Let's get down and dirty like the professionals we are. You're gonna pretend now that the dye is shampoo and you want to clean every inch of your hair. So rub it all in. Don't forget the sides and the back. Once you're finished, you can gather your hair up onto the top of your head so that we can put something like a plastic bag or whatever else you have on top without suffocating yourself, please. Immediately clean your hands afterwards, otherwise the dye will leave its mark on your arms. I usually wait an hour for the dye to do its thing in my hair, but you can wait as little as 30 minutes. Watch some Netflix, drink some tea, chillax, but don't let your dyed appendages touch the furniture. When you've waited long enough, you can start washing your hair. You'll know all the dye is out when the water pouring from your head is no longer blue tinted. Some dyes come with their own conditioner, but if not, use your own to further clean the dye out of your hair, otherwise your pillow will probably end up purple. Now dry your hair with a dark towel, or you'll be turning a light towel dark. And don't forget to wash the Vaseline off of your face unless you like having sticky skin. I want to thank all of you for watching me sloppily dye my hair. And if you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos, because I do have a few.